Welcome to Awaken Daily with me, Lucida of Twin Flame RX, and I'm here with some Lucid Tarot for you. Today's a pick a card reading, and this reading is going to be similar to the reading that I uploaded yesterday, but it will be sort of customized. So I uploaded a reading yesterday for an example. In the center, we had the Divine Masculine, and then we looked at the attitude of the Divine Masculine in the past, present, and future for the Divine Feminine and the same on the other side for the Karmic. So that's the type of reading that you're going to get. It's going to be seven cards, the attitude of your Divine Masculine counterpart to you versus the Karmic or to the Karmic versus you. We have a Peacock or for number one. For number two, there's a type of Quartz Crystal as a selection. And for number three, we've got a sodalite crystal. So take your time and choose the pile that you are intuitively drawn to. I am going to shuffle on camera for each of the choices. So you can pick more than one, but if you um, are not sure what a karmic situation is, it could be a wife, husband, um, a relationship, let's say, that your twin has that you feel that they are in karmic cycles going in cycles within this relationship not making any headway and not being able to express their authentic self and then not only that but it could be something like alcoholism or drugs or just a situation where they're overgiving to the wrong people whatever the karmic situation or person is we're going to address that in this pick a card reading today so Remember, though, that this is a general reading, so if it doesn't resonate fully, take only the parts that do, leave some comments, let us know what, you know, resonated for you and how your situation is going. I am available for private readings, so contact me in the description box below. There are ways to follow me on social media or get in contact. The website is TwinFlameRx.com. We're going to get started now for those of you that chose number one, and then we'll get to the others. And remember, I'm shuffling on camera. So number one, Peacock Ore. If you chose the Peacock Ore, we're asking Divine Source to show us your Divine Masculine Counterpart's attitude, thoughts, feelings, intentions, likely future actions, but overall general attitude and how they feel and you know where their energy is is it with the divine feminine or the karmic we're going to put the three karmic cards for the past present and future on the left side divine masculine in the middle and divine feminine on the right side so how i'm going to lay it out is starting with the divine masculine card then the divine feminine's three card and then the three cards for the karmic Okay, so we're almost there. Divine Masculine is represented here by the Nine of Wands. So the Divine Masculine in this pile or situation is very um, guarded. So guarded toward probably both um, the karmic situation or partner and the Divine Feminine. We'll put that Masculine card in the center and remember that the Masculine can be represented or representing a male or female, so this is not gender specific. In the recent past with the Divine Feminine though, the Divine Masculine here has the attitude of concentrating more on what didn't work rather than what is still remaining. So concentrating on the cups that fell and spilled rather than those that are left behind that, you know, really um, are representative of a firm spiritual foundation. The Divine Masculine may not be fully focused on that at this time. Um, presently, the Divine Masculine has the Three of Cups energy toward the Divine Feminine. So this could mean that the Divine Masculine in this situation, or number one, is thinking that the Divine Feminine is okay with being in a third party situation. It can also mean that there's reunion between the Divine Masculine and the Feminine at this time. We're going to look further. In the near future, or in the future, we see the Divine Masculine having a better attitude toward the Divine Feminine than putting 
him or her in a third party situation, but putting him or her on a pedestal here as the Empress. So basically the energy of the Divine Masculine is evolving in this case for the Divine Feminine going from focusing on what doesn't work to realizing that there still is something to celebrate and also we have here that it is evolving into really understanding and knowing that the Divine Feminine is the Masculine's twin and not really being afraid of that but embracing it. So that's where the energy is flowing for the Divine Masculine in this choice now toward the karmic in the recent past there was like a lot of juggling going on where the divine masculine had to juggle the karmic situation or partner with other aspects of their life possibly the fact that they you know know that they have this divine feminine counterpart out there as well so practice so practically it was difficult for the divine masculine to continue in the situation now, in the present, we have the Divine Masculine in this High Priest energy toward the karmic partner or situation. And what this is saying is basically that the Divine Masculine realizes and understands that they need to learn to follow their own intuition and their own heart and soul when it comes to discerning whether the karmic situation or partner is what's best for them. Lastly, in the near future, how the Divine Masculine will think, feel, and intend, and what the attitude will be toward the karmic in this choice number one, we have here the Three of Swords. So basically it looks like the Divine Masculine is either going to recognize that the karmic has pierced their heart one too many times. It may have to happen for them again. But what it will symbolize is an end. And we have a lot of threes here. So for this group, you may be hearing something from your masculine twin within three days. Maybe it's three weeks. Maybe it's three months. Maybe there's some kind of symbolism because we have three threes here. And basically what it's telling me also is that if you look at the progression of energy here with the Divine Masculine toward the karmic, that the, the Divine Masculine knew that the karmic situation was a physical world situation and is now gaining discernment toward it and realizing that the karmic has brought a lot of losses to his or her life, so is wanting to combat that and wanting to end that kind of energy. Okay, so it looks good for whoever the Divine Masculine is in this um, situation because the Divine Masculine is going to be realizing the karmic has pierced their soul and going toward their true intended you know, union with their twin who is symbolized by the Empress energy. So hopefully this reading for number one resonates with you. Leave a comment if it does and how. Let us know how it resonates. And thank you for watching. We're going to move on to number two now. Number two with the, what looks like to be a quartz stone, but it's kind of a foggy quartz. So I explain in each reading as I'm going along that in the center we're going to have a Divine Masculine card. That's the first card that's going to come up. The Divine Feminine cards will be laid out next past, present, and future, and then we have the divine, or I'm sorry, the karmic partner or situation, past, present, future on the left side. So we're asking divine source to show us what's going on in our twin flame relationship for those that pick number two, how the divine masculine feels, thinks, and what their attitude and intentions are toward the feminine and then toward the karmic, where things are headed energetically. And then usually action follows the energy. So we'll start off with this Divine Masculine card. Divine Masculine symbolized here with this Ace of Swords energy showing that there's like a new wellspring of knowledge and truth. So it seems like the Divine Masculine in this case recently tapped into their power, tapped into their source, tapped into their authentic expression and know who they are. Wow, in the recent past, the energy for the feminine was that the Divine Masculine thought of him or her as 
who they want to be in union with. This is the 1111 card, the Four of Wands. So that's really great energy for the Divine Masculine in the recent past uh, toward the DF or Divine Feminine, but now currently is in this Nine of Swords or anxious energy, not being able to sleep at night for some reason, maybe overthinking, maybe doubting. In the near future, though, we have that energy being subsided and, you know, the two, the Divine Masculine and Feminine, moving away from drama together in this case. Let's see what's going on with the um, Divine Masculine's attitude in the recent past to the karmic. Well, they felt like they had to defend themselves and maybe even defend what matters to them, including defending their twin possibly to the karmic or, you know, defending themselves against the karmic and defending the union between themselves and their twin that they know about and want to take part in. They had to defend that energetically with the Seven of Wands energy in the recent past. Present, presently, though, the Divine Masculine is offering something to the karmic, maybe a peace offer of some sort. While the Divine Masculine is doing that, remember that they're very anxious and worried about what's going on with the Divine Feminine. And in the near future, oh boy, in this case, uh, group number two, we have maybe a renewed covenant with the karmic for the time being in this group. But remember that the masculine knows the truth and is moving into calmer waters with the divine feminine in the future based on the truth. So this two of uh, cups, I'm going to pull another card real quick to see what's going to happen with that two of cups. But I feel like that two of cups is eventually, you know, not even three months into it going to turn into something different. And that's the card I'm pulling up now. It's going to turn into... Oh, the fool energy. Wow. So, so I believe in this case that the divine masculine may be trying to give this karmic situation one more chance. And if it doesn't follow through, then they are going to move into a different direction because they've already gotten a taste of what pure bliss is like with the feminine. They're afraid they might lose it or her. And then they're going to come back into the divine feminine's life at some point and uh, show the Divine Feminine that they want to move away from the drama that they're going to transcend their karmic situation. So this one, you know, this group may take a little bit more time for that karmic situation to dissolve. And if you need a private reading, I'm available at TwinFlameRx.com. You can check there for more information. So lastly, lastly, if you chose group number three, and the sodalite stone we're going to shuffle the middle card will be the divine masculine then the divine masculine's attitude toward the divine feminine will be here recent past present and future laid out and on the left side my left will be the karmic past present and future how the divine masculine viewed the karmic person partner or the situation in the past the present and how the energy is flowing into the future. So let's take a look. We'll start again with shuffling and asking Divine Source to show us where we're headed on our twin flame journey based on the attitude, the intentions, the true feelings and desires of the masculine, how their energy is flowing in relation to the Divine Feminine and the Karmic at this time. So one more shuffle or two more shuffles and then we're going to cut the deck and find out what's going on in situation number three okay so bottom or the top card is the divine masculine knight of cups energy so the divine masculine's attitude toward the karmic and toward the twin is that they want to be open and loving so we'll see which side you know gets more love in this case the divine feminine in the recent past is represented here by the chariot or how the divine masculine counterpart here in the middle views um, the divine feminine maybe there was a separation one or both had left or maybe there was a move forward in the connection there was a move in the connection Recently now, though, and in the present, it looks like there is a slowdown with the Four of Swords energy, at least a mental break for both twins, possibly, but definitely in terms of the di Divine Masculine's attitude toward the Divine Feminine, there may have been like a big 
a big shift or a big move forward and now there's a break or a rest and in the future there's going to be seven of swords seven of pentacles energy and the seven of pentacles energy is about continuing to plant the seeds and watch them grow so the divine masculine in this case even though they're facing the divine feminine they are still waiting for something to grow maybe before they can stop whatever that karmic situation is well the karmic situation in the recent past has brought light to the divine masculine with this ace of swords there were new understandings uncovered new revelations that the divine masculine uncovered for themselves so that's good um in the present the karmic situation is in this wheel of fortune type energy so the divine masculine may be undergoing an upheaval a change of fate or destiny things that the karmic situation either keeps cycling around and the divine masculine's noticing the same cycle repeating over and over or it's time to put an end to that cycle we'll see what the third card is for the future well, we have balancing with the two of pentacles. So it looks here that the divine masculine may realize that it's really hard to balance this karmic situation and build something with the divine feminine and have it grow. So it looks like the divine masculine's energy is really leaving the karmic situation behind in a way if you look at how all the cards kind of go together. It looks like the divine masculine may be at least mentally and spiritually detached from the karmic situation and this is all guided intuitively by their higher self their intuition and through their higher power and they're moving to make and grow something special with the divine feminine here is what it really looks like so even if you feel that there may be a break in communication with your masculine at this time um, it looks like it's a short break and there will be a resuming of building something together soon. And so I hope that this actually brings you some clarity and peace. Please comment if you got something out of it. If you'd like a private session, I'm available for those at TwinFlameRx.com. Check the description box below for more information on how to follow me on social media or where to follow me and things like that. So if you're still here, it's the end of the video for the day. If you like these videos, please hit like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell icon, and share. And I'll be back with another video tomorrow here on Awaken Daily. Namaste.